find the divergence of the vector field in space. So notice here that we are given our vector field in its standard unit vector form. So let's just simply begin by rewriting this vector in space. So it has components f, g, h in its component form. So our f component here is 5x squared minus 5y squared. Our g component is 6y squared minus 6z squared. And our h component is z squared minus x squared. And we're ready now to go right ahead and compute the divergence. So we want to compute the divergence of this three-dimensional vector field, which we recall is equal to the dot product of del and that given vector field. So here we go. We've got the divergence of this beautiful vector field. And we know that del or the del operator has components d dx, d dy, d, dz. And we're going to dot this with that given vector field. So let's give ourselves a little more room. So we're taking this component form and we're dotting it with del. So here we go. So applying the dot product, we have, or we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x of that f component, 5x squared minus 5y squared. Plus, we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to y of the g component, 6y squared minus 6z squared. Plus, we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to z of the h component, z squared minus x squared. And so here we go. Taking a partial derivative with respect to x, we're left with 10x plus taking the partial derivative with respect to y, we are left with plus 12y. And last but not least, taking the partial derivative with respect to z, we're left with 2z. And so we can say that our beautiful final answer here, the divergence of this vector field f is equal to, and making this look even nicer, I'm going to factor out that greatest common factor of 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 5x plus 6y plus z. And this is our beautiful final answer here for the divergence of this vector field in space.